Hey guys, welcome back to Vibro Stories. I know it's a light one and I really hate not getting videos out as frequently as I like, but here it is and I'm going to try my best to get out as more often as I can. So last time I saw you guys was uh, my hospital apartment. Since then, I've been feeling great, I've been really on top of my stuff and I feel actually better. I feel well rested, I just feel like I have more energy within me, I have more just <sighs> breathing power. <laughs> So today's episode is going to be how I was diagnosed with CF basically and a little bit of my backstory, call it my origins if you may. So back in 1994, my, mo my mom was pregnant with not just me, but my twin brother. Yes, I have an identical twin brother. He is not with me to do this video right now, but he is alive and well. So when we were born, we were both pretty small babies but that is normal for twins to begin with but after that we were in and out of hospital we were both very sick and nobody knew why we were tested for and everything under the sun anything you could possibly think of we were, we were tested for but my mom said when I kissed them they're salty she has very chopped, uh, chopped lips at times so she said it can't burn her lips the doctor said well, I don't think this is what's it, what it is, but I'm going to test them both for it anyways. October 1994, me and my twin brother Brandon were diagnosed with CF. Now you can imagine how scary that could be for two parents who have no idea what this disease is. In the 90s, the life expectancy wasn't very high. And we, but we were caught so late on, no one thought we were going to live. We were basically dying because we were so sick. One person knew we were going to make it out there and it was my dad. So them not thinking we were going to live that long, not thinking we were going to high school or even elementary school, nearly 21 years later we're alive and well today. But when we were younger we were very sick as I said so we dealt through a lot of problems but growing up I was never alone on anything we went through. When I went through something, he went through it. When he went through it, most likely I went through it with him. When we were in hospital, we had the same room, and we, you can imagine how fun that could be. Growing up, we shared a room at home anyways, but in hospital, it's like a sleepover because you're home away from home. But it wasn't all fun being in hospital and all, but me and him, we made the best of it. We had as much fun as we could, and I know we put a lot of smiles on those nurses faces. Now that we're older though, we don't exactly still go through the same things as each other, but we know what each other's going through. My mom and dad watch us through it and they know to their degree what it's like, but they don't know what it feels like. I know what it's like for him, he knows what it's like for me. There's only been a few times, only once really, that we've talked to each other about it. Maybe a few other times, but it's not very often. We, we understand each other. We know each other. We don't really have to explain it to each other. If we're worried or concerned, we'll talk to each other about it. But it's not that often. It's very rare, actually. So, guys, as you know, my main point of these vlogs is to get the word out on CF and to show you my life. But I can't do that by myself. So, I want you guys to tell me your CF stories. Tell me something about you and your CF, how you were diagnosed, something that may have happened with your CF, anything like that. Let me know what it was. Send me an email or comment and I'll, uh, and I'll make put in my next video because I, I can't get it out there on my own. I need other stories to, for, for other people to realize what the disease is. Thanks again for watching guys. Remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe. Until next time, breathe easy.